what's up, Facebook? <laughs> Colleen Gallagher here. I'm just going on Instagram. I feel like the lighting is a bit is a bit off. Let's see if I can move for for this. I feel like this is a better a better place and a little bit lower though. Hey Felix, how are you? How are you doing? Just getting ready to go live on Instagram. When you pop on, let me know where you're in from. So I'd love to know, Felix, just pop in where you're calling in from. And checking connection. I'm just going on Instagram. Hey, Instagram, how are you? All right, Colleen Gallagher here from Colleen Gallagher International. And when you, hey, Pauline. When you pop on, just let me know where you are um, tuning in from. I'd love to know where in the world you are. Currently, I am in Michigan, which is in the middle of the USA. So anyway, an important message. I just finished my breakfast. It was actually so good. It was pancakes. It was like so delicious. I'm gonna do that. I don't. I'm, this is like a very awkward. I think we might go back up here. Hey, there's like not really good angles and lighting. But anyway, all right. So today we are talking about how people want to travel while they run their business, but they're not sure how. So I felt like this was a really important topic to come on and speak about today because. My hair's kind of crazy. But I've been getting lots of questions lately on people being curious, like they want to travel and they're not sure how to travel and how to travel. Because I feel like I, well, I travel all alone, all over the world, as many of you may or may not know. But um, I've done this for quite a long time, but I've been doing it more aggressively the past, or expansively, I should say, the past year. And it really all comes down, my hair is really, you guys, I don't know what girls it's going on. But anyway, um, it's really all, come down, all comes down to a belief system. And I wanted to come on and share that space with all of you that you can absolutely travel while running your business. And like, you're not really sure how exactly you're doing it. And so, Hey, <laughs> love that you're on tune. So I wanted to come on and share this with a little bit. I love it too. And let me know where you're tuning in from. Is it, let me know if you're still in. Yeah, so exciting. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share that you absolutely can run your business while you're traveling. It all comes down to a mindset. And so I wanted to come on and share this because many people, especially since I'm 24 and I travel the world by myself usually, that many people, hey Arjun, um, many people say, you know, are you ever scared? Are you ever nervous? How do you make money? Like all of these questions that the mind, the mind comes through and wants to ask me. But you know what came really clear to me and what I wanted to say today is that none of this is about the mind. This is all from the heart. This is all from a greater space of coming from true service from what holds within you. So it's dropping from the questions instead of asking people, how are you doing this? How are you making money? What happens with this? Blah, 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 blah. All of the questions drop to your heart when you see someone have a lifestyle that you love. When you see someone living in full abundance, living with creation, living with excitement, living with passion that you desire to hold within yourself, that you desire to hold within your business, that you desire to have in the world. And instead of asking 50 questions, drop straight from your head back into your heart, feeling what feels good and how can I create a life that feels good for me? And for me, that was traveling. I always knew I wanted to travel. I wanted to be in different locations on my own terms and or traveling to different places. And initially I thought that was through corporate America. I thought the only consistent way to do that was through corporate America because that was consistent paychecks every two weeks, which again is a programming that we can only get paid every two weeks or once a month. We can get paid every single day. That's, that is the belief system that I believe in and that's the belief system that I function in. And I also believe that I enjoy and it feels so good to me to travel. It feels so good to be meeting new people. It feels so stimulating to meet extraordinary humans from all over the world 
that are truly making an impact. And from that place, since it's stimulating, since it feels good, then I'm able to look at how I run a business. Then I'm able to look at how I can create a larger impact. So people say I want to travel, but then like when you actually go to do it, they have no idea what to do. So I'm going to give a few tips on traveling alone. First tip is that when you travel alone and you're running a business, first tip is you always look for Wi-Fi. Second tip is what I suggest is you always want to stay alone. You do not want to stay in like a, a private room in an Airbnb or like in a janky place. Like you always want to stay where you, a business owner would go, like where actually a business owner would stay. You're not going to stay somewhere where you're not a business owner. Like that doesn't align. That doesn't make sense. So if you own a business and you want to be traveling while you're doing business, you want to make sure that you're staying in an environment that allows you to feel creative, that allows you to feel inspired to co-create at a greater level, that allows your business to flourish, that allows you to feel good. Because if you are in an apartment or you're in a hotel and it doesn't feel good or it doesn't feel aligned and you are having to be quiet, you're having to worry about the Wi-Fi because of all these things, that is not going to come from a place of feeling good. It's not going to allow you to live in complete abundance because you're going to be in your mind, which I said initially, when any of this happens, you want to drop back to your heart. You're going to be in your mind thinking all these things, taking away from your craft, taking away from your artistic ability to create a business of service to others. So let me know if this is making sense to everyone. I know I have people on Instagram and Facebook. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm so happy that you are. Oops, sorry. I switched this. Um, so happy that you're getting this. Let me know if this makes sense. If, and if you're watching this on replay, hashtag replay. Love to know the replays. Let me know. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is all sinking in for everybody. Like if we're, if we're understanding that dropping from the mind back into the heart, that creates the transformation experience that you want for your business, that you want to embody with your business, that you want to co-create with your business. So, okay, I'll back this up into three steps. So if you're traveling by yourself or if you are traveling as a business owner, first thing is always look for a place that has Wi-Fi. Always stay as if you already are the most successful business owner because you are going to want to be creating in that space. One. Two, flights. Usually it's good to use, like, you get your airlines that you really like and then keep using them. Go to their website and book. Don't go to third-party websites. And the reason that I say that is that third-party websites, they're not as easy to deal with. They, If something happens and the flight gets canceled or it gets rearranged, it's a hassle. So always just choose, like, go ahead, use third-party to, like, like, see what airlines you like. But then once you find one that you really like and connect with, just stay with that airline and go to their, their website because it's going to save you money in the long run. So that's number two. Number three with traveling is decide if you're traveling to sightsee or decide if you're traveling to experience culture. So this will depend about a lot of your experiences that you create when you're traveling. So if you are traveling and you're doing it to experience, you are going to be looking for more cultural experiences to do, like cooking. You'll be looking for things that, um, just like cooking experiences, not the tourist attractions. You'll be able to look online or on Yelp and find a local who owns their own business that actually takes you out and experience the local culture. And that's like really important, I feel. So decide why you're traveling. What's your intention for traveling as a business owner? Experience culture to see the main things. What is your, what are you doing for um, your stay, airlines? And then just be and just decide what your intention is for your business when you're there. Second thing, like I said, with running your business while you're traveling is you also have to be aware that when you're traveling that you are not living in the paradigm anymore that you're working from nine to five. So many times you can get up and work at 6 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever it is, because time, time does not exist. And when you're traveling, time really doesn't exist because usually you're working with people through all different, um, all different time zones. So really you have to decide or you want to decide, hey, you want to decide what it is that you're choosing to exist within your business or what your intention is with your business when you're there which is amazing. And so once you do from that place, it's much easier to say, okay, like this is like a week for podcasts. This is a week for um, doing online events. This is a week for my clients. Like this is the time I'm going to show up for my clients. These are the clients that I have in specific places. 
so I can create based on what works for their timeline and then go back to mine and create your schedule around that. So you actually can reverse engineer what you're doing with your business to make your schedule start working for you based on when you're traveling. So great example I have of this is I have a few clients that I, um, they are in one place and they don't, they don't move very, they're not moving, they're not traveling. So I pick a time that always works for them. Based on that, I'll rearrange my time. And what I'll do because of that, so I have a consistent thing, is I can then, from that one-on-one -on -one call, do a meditation before, do a meditation after, do some journaling, but create my normal routine based on where I am regardless of time, which then gives me more free time for whatever I want to do while I'm traveling. So that's another really big piece to this. So I'm trying to think what else I felt called to share. I am from America, but I travel all over. Um, let me know when you're watching this on replay if you have questions, like what you're feeling when you're watching it. Um, and I just feel like what, I felt really called to share this. So yeah, I've gotten a lot of questions lately about, about traveling or running a business and people aren't sure how you make money. Like we are living in such an abundant time. Like act, you, you can get money from PayPal. You can get money from Venmo. You can get money through Stripe. You can get money through websites. You can get money through Instagram. Like there's so many ways to get money. So when people say like, I'm not sure how you get money or how do you get money? We are living in the most abundant time in the world ever and in the whole existence of the world. Like there are so many ways that money is flying around right now. It's just making it apparent why, how, what you offer, why people should give you and what you're giving for that exchange of service. So an example would be a great example is a book. So for a book that I have, I have a five step process in that five step process. It tells you, it tells you how to walk through living your truth. And I break it out into these five steps, I give examples of these five steps, but from that place, it's $7. So for $7, I give an exchange, you get a book, and then on, for five steps of living your truth, return, I get $7 of an exchange for that. So it goes body this at a deeper level and allows them to work with you. So that's a great way. And regardless of when you're traveling or not, you are not responsible for handholding someone every moment. You are responsible for giving what you believe has transformed your life, what has caused an evolution in your life for you. And then from that space, you just give that and you allow people at a greater capacity if they want to dive deeper into this work that's of evolu like changed or transformed your life, they can then also hop on to transform their life through the work. So let me know if that makes sense when this is rewatching. But, um, I feel that's really what I had to share. That's really what I, or I get to share. It's really what I wanted to share. That's really what excited me to come on here and share because so many people feel like, how do you travel? How do you do this? Blah, blah, blah. And like go in this huge furry of their mind of all the questions and what are the results of this and that and all these things. And that's great. I think that's awesome. And I think that that's a lot of the way for humans to do it. But I also feel from being a cancer survivor and going through a lot of things that, you know, there's something that comes deeper from your heart. Like there's something that comes greater within you. And I feel from that space, when you come from that heart, when you come from knowing that there's something so much greater and deeper in you that you want to share, that is when you'll be able to travel, run your business. And it all works out. Like, it all works out like, greater than you could expect. And that's what I really wanted to take from this is you want to travel more. I gave you tips on how to do that. You want to run your business. I gave you tips on how to travel and align your business to that. And so I feel though the greatest way to do this is really just live your truth. Like what does your truth mean to you? What is your, what is your excitement mean to you? What is your, what does feeling good mean to you? What does that feel like to you to feel good? What does it feel like to wake up wherever you want in the world? and impact people. Like ask yourself from that place what that feels like. And then all everything will start to come together. I, I often say reverse engineering because I feel people try to engineer their life. I'm gonna do this and then this and this. Instead, come from a place of this is where I wanna go. I wanna travel, I wanna own a business. Now I'm gonna reverse engineer this. So I know this is what I want. So what are the steps that need to take accordingly? An example I can give this is when I knew I was in college, I knew I wanted to live, I wanted to get out of Michigan. So what I did is when I was a freshman, I lived with my parents. Then I lived in East Lansing, which is the city I went to school in. Then I lived out of state and then I, I moved out of state. So I like progressively set myself up to be more comfortable with that, to feel 
from a more comfortable space, but that was over a span of four years. So I did that as, as a goal of what I wanted and then created that in a different way. So, so excited to share this with you guys. I'm so excited that you're on here. I'm so excited that I could share this and, and you guys are supporting and girls are supporting this. If you have any questions at all, it's about traveling, about owning a business, um, online business too, I should say, running your business online. Um, let me know. And, and I really believe this is available for all of you. Like I know it's not just me. I don't have some magic power. Like it's available if you choose to have this. And I know a lot of you desire to have this. So sending you lots of love and so excited. And if you want to travel more and run your online business, but you are not sure how, message me, watch this from the beginning. And I'm just sending you so much love and so much gratitude for being on here. And just know that your voice, your truth, your travel, your online business, it really can do whatever you want as long as it's empowering you to feel good. So sending you so, so much love. I'm trying to feel if there's anything else I wanted to. Let me know if there's any questions. I know I have a lot of people on here. So let me know if there's any questions that you guys are feeling, girls are feeling about this. If not, if there's no questions, let me just scroll down. Oh, hey, great. Yes. Your lecture video this is how can I make impacts? So good. Oh my gosh, sorry, I didn't see all of these. Um, okay, anyway, so good. So I just wanted to share all this and I will reply soon. Anyway, sending you lots and lots of love. And remember, you hold the light within to embody we are one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>